everybody, welcome to Camus BC. Um, waiting for mummy, right? Mummy's getting a few things at Walmart before we're heading up to Sun Peaks Resort. Um, we're spending a few days up there. What are we doing tonight, Eric? What are we doing tonight? Going in the hot tub. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So when we get there, apparently we're going in the hot tub. And tomorrow, we're going to be ice fishing at Hefley Lake. Oh, look. And uh, what are we doing after that? Uh, we're going <laughs> skiing. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to try skiing for the very first time. This is not a ski family. So this will be quite interesting. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Everyone says skiing is pretty fun. So yeah, so a bit of ice fishing, a bit of skiing, a combination of family activities. <sighs> Let's go! We made it to some peaks. It's going for an evening walk and before we uh, we'll do some ice fishing tomorrow. Check it out. This is nice. So, we're having a late start this morning. Well, it's almost noon. Um, last night we got to Sun Peaks and it was super nice. The, the boys did get to go in the hot tub. And this morning, we decided to take it a little easy a little bit and just kind of do some touristy stuff, walk around the village and check out the skiing because we don't really ski. So it was quite fascinating to us. So I'm out on the ice uh, solo right now. Heading up on myself. Gonna meet up with Brandon, my friend Brandon, just further down the lake a little bit. We're gonna do some scouting, try to find some fish, and the kids gonna follow us a little later on. So let's hope there's some rainbow trout waiting for us. Arrive at the destination, about a, I was pretty sure it was like five minute walk only. So not, not too long compared to some of the other walk on the ice I've done before. Uh, Brandon over here has gotten quite a few fish this morning. About what, more than half a dozen, there's one, he just got right now, roughly around, i say just two pounds. And he's got a couple other ones down here. One berry that's around, i say say, um, close to four pounds. So they're very, very fat fish compared to the ones I caught last, during my last ice fishing trip. Very healthy fish, Yeah. right? It's beauty fish. <laughs> and these are our stock rainbow trout, so you can keep five a day. Um, at this lake, we are heavily lake today, just 20 minutes drive down the hill from Sun Peaks Resort where we're staying at. So it's convenient, you can just come down to ice fish after the day of skiing. That's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I can't complain about that one. Yeah, that's a beauty. Beauty fish. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. But I had quite a few fish going by, but they're not really committing. Um, but now the kids are here, so we're gonna set up a few more rods and uh, just waiting for that evening bite. Eric! Hi! You gonna try to catch fish today, Eric? <laughs> okay, Brandon's getting some rods set up on the George Atkins, which is like, um, I guess they, they set the hook on their own when the fish pulls the line. Yeah. It's easy when you have kids around, so the, the fish will hook themselves so then the kids can bring them in. This is like a video game. I see a big orange, orange spot on here, then there's a fish. Hey, are the hot dogs cooking? Rod, I got a real big one. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Whoa, big mask. Oh, yeah. Beauty fish. Okay, making hot dogs for the kids, and of course, branding on other fish. Nice yeah. Huh? Yeah. I can eat all oh. of them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? oh. Well, come, Eric, Eric, come. Real fish, there's a fish here. Come. 
Grab the fishing rod. Yeah, real, real, real. You got a real. Okay, now, now reel with this hand. Yep, okay, come in. <laughs> there you go. So we're just enjoying the hot dogs in the tent and Brenna's yelling out this fish on, fish on. Um, about three o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, this is bite time. The kids are gone and it's showtime. <laughs> this fish just popped up as I um, woo, as I dropped the bait down. Yeah, I came in and bit right away. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, we're gonna go out that gate there, Harry. fun skiing today. I'm surprised how fast they're picking up. Just every run, yeah, they're getting better. So, but the main thing, they're really enjoying it. Pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> when is it our turn? Guys. Yeah. I'm amazed actually <laughs> at how much you guys learn. Really good. It's fun, eh? Yeah. And every every run you make now just gets easier and more yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad's gonna send me a picture of you guys making your baby. Yeah. And turning. Awesome. Okay. Say bye. Say thank you. We'll see you again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You. What do you say, Ellie? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Let's so just walk down there first? Yeah, let's okay. just walk Perfect. down there. I'm a, an alpine downhill instructor, I'm a Nordic instructor, and in Nordic I teach classic and skate. Okay. Yeah, and today we're going to learn classic because okay. it's, it's probably the easiest of the two Nordic mm -hmm. disciplines. It, I would say the downhill is the easiest of all three of them. Oh wow. You're just going downhill. You're just going downhill and you're just balancing. Mm -hmm. Here this is a little more 
physically demanding. Mm -hmm. Just Nina, I'm going to get you. You can put your poles down there and see how you stand on one leg. And you can use the mm -hmm. other leg. You can put it there or you can just stand and just see how your balance is. And then try it on the other mm -hmm. foot. Re Most people are right-legged, mm -hmm. so they balance better on their right foot. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we do the balancing by bending our ankle, our knee, and our hip. And we just kind of find that spot. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You guys are pretty good balance. <laughs> yeah, that opens up. And we have a pin on the boot right there. Mm -hmm. And that goes right in there. You can just hold on to it okay. and you can still press down. So we move our right, left foot forward, or right hand goes, right? It's just like we're marching. You've got it already, my dear. That's it. Feel that? Mm -hmm. You can actually push out. And if we just go like this, we're not going to move very fast at all. Keeping your hands forward. That's it. There you go. Very nice. Good job, girl. Holy Whoa. naturalness. Whoa, rocket star. <laughs> well, let's just go for a little walk. We're not going to go in the track here. So, as you can see, classic skiing is like just going for a walk. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's why a lot of people love it. It's pretty laid back. As long as you don't have any terrain. Mm -hmm. And Nina, after five minutes, is cross-country skiing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Let's just do the shuffle for a while and get our mojo. Good work. All right, we're going to head this way to our right. Okay. Hello. Hi. So that's skate skiing right there. So you see, if you fall forward, yeah. you go faster. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Didn't we see you before? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna show us? Yeah, give us a show, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't start giggling too hard. <laughs> Look at her go. Like that? Yeah, you got her, buddy. Relax your upper body, relax. There you go, yahoo! Didn't fall. Here you go. Yahoo! Oh! Nice work! Okay, yeah, no problem. Here they come. Cool. Okay, so you're gonna hang back here. Oh. You hang back here. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! <laughs> you're good. Chill out, relax. You got it. You got it. <laughs> and and that one feathered, this one, this leg is bent. This one's just loose. There you go, you got it. You can let her go. It's not that far, you did a way bigger hill last time. Relax your hands, relax yeah. your hands. Relax the hands, there okay, you yeah. go. Oh yeah, that, that made a huge difference. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got her? Got it. <laughs> oh! I did. <laughs> Yeehaw! Well, that was our family's first skiing experience and I think we all really enjoyed it. Our only complaint though was the trip was way too short. We wish we could have stayed for a few more days, so we're gonna have to return in the near future. Before we go to Sun Peaks Resort, I think both Nin and I were quite intimidated by the thought of going skiing um, because it was just so foreign to us. But once we got to the resort, everyone was so welcoming, we felt like a home. Um, we picked up the lifestyle pretty much right away. Special thanks to uh, Hank and other instructors for being so accommodating and so patient. Hank taught our kids for three hours and I was so amazed by how much they learned 
from him those three hours and how much they could pick up. Um, so if you if your kids or if yourself have never done skiing before, don't be afraid. You just have to show up at the resort and uh, there are ski lessons widely available and uh, like I said, the instructors are so good at it. Both Nina and I really enjoyed the cross-country skiing as well. I think she picked it up faster than me, even though I have done it a few times in the past, well, more than 20 years ago, um, but I think she really enjoyed it. Um, we don't really go out and participate in a lot of outdoor activities besides fishing so i think we're going to add this to the list in the winter time and trying to fit that into our busy family schedule for sure and many thanks to brandon for uh hanging out with me and eric during the ice fishing day as well uh, brandon is really good at ice fishing as you can see and uh, he's done for many more years than me um, it's such a great family activity you know you go out there you, uh, it's not just the fishing, but as you can see in the video, for the kids, it's all about running around, um, cooking up hot dogs, and uh, of course, catching fish as well when the fish start biting. So yeah, skiing and ice fishing. I think that's uh, something I highly recommend all of you to get out and try out you know, for a weekend. Many thanks to Sun Peaks Resort for hosting us once again. We really had a good time ice fishing and folding on my skis. And uh, many thanks to all of you for watching this video. I hope, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions regarding ice fishing or planning a weekend at Sun Peaks Resort, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always happy to answer them. And please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. And until next time, good luck fishing and good luck skiing.